What's up guys, it's LJ again with No Clutch Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do actually something that I've been waiting on doing for a while. I ordered an intake about two weeks ago. It's now got here. It's the agency power intake for B58. So it's a cold air intake, but it completely replaces the piping to aluminum piping, which is also wider and removes the silencer. So that way we can hear a little bit more noise. It also comes with a heat shield and today we're gonna install it. But first, we have to remove the OEM intake. To start off, what I did is I went ahead and removed the MAP sensor screws because I didn't have the OEM screws. So I just went ahead and took them out and you can remove the MAP sensor and just put it to the side. You can also take it completely off, but I'm careful enough where I won't mess with it. And the next thing you want is a flathead screwdriver to go ahead and get this clamp off. Now that the clamp is off, you can actually take the whole thing off as one piece instead of having to take off the top and filter and disassembling it. But it does take a little bit of force. You have to get it off of here. And there are two more prongs at the bottom that stick up that kind of hold the box in place. So when you pull, you're gonna pull the whole thing. This shielding is also gonna come off with it. And just make sure it comes off clean off the pipe. It's really cool. Once you have it loose, all you have to do is pull it out. Now that you have the box off, the next step is going to be to take off the pipe. The pipe is going to be a little tricky, but you're going to have to reach in there. And there's going to be a clamp. You're going to have to reach that right there. For this, it's going to be a 6 millimeter socket. I'm going to try to reach it and take it out, and then I will be right back. Alright, that took a lot more effort to take this off than I expected. But now it's off. Now what we have to do is we have to take this off, this little prong. For that you're going to need 5 8 deep socket and a ratchet. Alright, and then you take that off. And the reason why we want to take that off is because the heat shield's going to rest on that. Now this heat shield was made and developed on a 240i. And I suppose the engine bay is a little different. But we have modified it a little bit to make sure that this heat shield works perfectly on this chassis. We're going to take the heat shield. Put it through there. If you can see right here, this is kind of hanging out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take that out. And what we need right here is gonna be a 10 millimeter socket. So I took it out and now hook this up in place. And we're gonna ratchet it back in. It's in place. All right guys, it took me a while, but I put the pipe in. It's not clamped down completely yet, but it's in there. And as you can see, that goes right where this little knob was. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fit it back in there and go ahead and secure it. Go ahead and put the map sensor back in and we're gonna fasten the cone and that should be it. I didn't have the Allen wrench to fit these, so I just used a Torx drive. It's a T15, that works fine. Now we can secure the code. That was a pretty simple and pretty straightforward installation. Steps are pretty easy to follow, nothing crazy. It's just a matter of getting your hands in there and actually doing it. And now I'm gonna crank it up and see what it sounds like. Hey guys, it's been a couple weeks now since I recorded the DIY and I realized as I was uploading the video that I didn't have an ending to the video. I totally must have forgotten about it. But that's actually really good because I've had about two or three weeks to really test out the intake and see what it has done for the car. Overall, I'm very happy with it. It definitely adds sound. When I'm wide open, you can hear the turbo clearly. You can hear how the air is getting sucked into the engine and it honestly sounds really good. I can't really describe it and and if I were to record it, it wouldn't do it any justice. So I highly recommend this. It's really good that the original plastic piping was replaced with this aluminum material. And honestly, I think it just looks really badass under the hood. I've wanted this intake for almost as long as I've had my car, but I never got around to it. And you know what? I'm not disappointed. It's really good. Uh, as far as performance, throttle response is absolutely better. Uh, I think I will notice the most gains from this modification once the temperatures start dropping. But anyway, 
Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming back to the channel. I really, really appreciate the support that I'm getting from DIY community. I think my MHD video has about 600, 700 views now. That to me is amazing. That's my most popular video by far. So pretty much what that tells me is that there is a whole community out there of DIY people that don't really have a whole lot of resources when it comes to this platform. The B58 platform is a really, really good platform. And now that the Supra is out, everybody's trying to jump in on it. So I'm going to keep these videos coming for you guys. I'm going to try to do more performance upgrades and whatever I do to the car, I'm going to document and upload here on my channel so make sure that you guys like this video first of all if you like the content and second of all make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and turn on the little bell so that you guys get the latest content from me also if you want to stay up to date with anything that I do I suggest you guys go follow me on Instagram at no clutch garage that's literally where I spent most of my time when it comes to social media and if I'm ever about to upload another video you will know there first anyway thank you guys again for coming to my channel and checking out this video and I will see you guys next time.